right, boys. We are back, and we're gonna be we're gonna be starting our simulation in these next videos. So, uh, before we get started, we gotta still edit our lines. And before I do that, because the the media from Columbus has followed all the way to Tampa Bay, you guys were saying that the uh, Bernier trade was horrible. I should have traded for Corey Schneider. So I'll get you guys the uh, I'll give you guys my mindset of this trade. Vancouver, we go to Vancouver. First of all. There's salary cap issues. I know we solved that with LA. But they got salary cap issues. Now look at this. Bernier, look at his trade value compared to Corey Schneider's. I don't know if it's half of it, but it's, uh, I don't know, like 66% of it. It's a lot cheaper, all right? We only gave up a second and Rollison for Jonathan Bernier. If we were going to give up the same players for Schneider, we would have to add a, uh, it would have had to been like Rollison. Uh, a first and a second, and maybe we would have gotten Schneider, all right? I wasn't ready to give up any first-round picks. All we gave up was a second-round pick for Jonathan Bernier. Uh, Rollison was already going, and he just got replaced by Bernier, all right? Now, if you look at the stats, Corey Schneider, yeah, he's got his mid-80s. You know, he's 85 overall, mid-80s everywhere. He's got BBB, but he is 25 years old. I expect those Bs to go down to B-minus at the end of this year, for sure. Not to say he wouldn't get good, but look, Bernier, he's the same goalie. He's two years younger, still has his Bs, he's 82 overall, ooh, a couple less overall. In, in a year or two, if his Bs stay the same, um, he will be the same as Corey Schneider, all right? Give him two years to get to 25. The only thing about Bernier that is questionable is those uh, potentials. If the Bs stay there for two or three years, till he gets to like 26, he'll be a good goalie. But if, if uh, at the end of this season we notice that his reflexes and his... Uh, uh, most importantly, his reflexes. But if one of those categories drop to a B minus or even a C, then yeah, we can uh, discuss if we want to trade for a better goalie. I always said that. I said that in the last video. We may still trade for a better goalie four or five years in. But for right now, for a second round draft pick, because that's all he cost, we needed a goalie that we could uh, give a chance to. He could be our goalie for the next 10 years. So that was my mindset. A second round pick only for uh, Jonathan Bernier, a lot cheaper than Corey Schneider. He would have had taken a lot more. It would have been Rolson a first and a second for Schneider, at least. At least, all right? So, now that we've made our trade, we got to uh, edit our lines. Now, before I edit the lines, because we got injuries on, I don't want any of my star players getting injured in the preseason. So, for the preseason games, I am just going to start the crappiest players. I'm going to send the, uh, the good guys down to the minors. Don't worry when you're in preseason, you don't have to worry about uh, one-way or two-way contracts. Nothing like that. So I'm just going to bring up all the, the worst players that I have. It doesn't even matter what uh, positions they're in. Stamkos go down, St. Louis go down, Cavalier go down, Hedman, you go down. Yeah, <clears throat> This is what uh, injuries on is going to be, boys. A lot of this micromanaging stuff. Uh, whoops, my bad. Man, I got blow my nose already, man. This is what happens when I do friggin' videos in the morning. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. It's a lot better. And after you blow your nose, you always got to go back for a nice little sip of tea. Clear your uh, sinuses. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. Edmund, you go down. Malone, you go down. Brewer, you go down. Everyone else can stay up. Olin, Bergeron, all these guys can stay up. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, Piche, Hutchings, Panic, Jackson. All right. Now, goalies, we'll send Bernier. Now, you know what? We'll give Bernier. No, we'll send him down. We don't want anything to happen to him. Freaking injuries, man. Oh, I can't move any of them around anyways. Below, yeah. And then, what is this, above? Oh, my roster is currently full. Hang on a sec. Uh, send Olin down, whatever. Bernier. Oh, no, I got to bring up Tukarski. Yeah, and then send Bernier down. Perfect. All right, so now I'll do the edit lines for Tampa Bay, just best lines. See, we got no stars in the mix. We have some of our defensemen, I guess, Scuderi and Bergeron, whatever, though. Uh, and then Garon, all right. And your minor league team, they don't have any preseason games, your AHL team. So... We don't have to worry about Stamkos, Malone, and uh, Le Cavalier and St. Louis getting injured in the preseason. They'll save that for the first or second game of the season. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. So, let me just see. Yeah, look. The uh, AHL doesn't have any uh, preseason games. So, let's simulate the preseason, and then we'll do edit lines for the, uh, for the regular season here. Welcome to the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right. Let's see what happens with injuries after one game. Oh, wow. No injuries. Two games. 
Oh, wow, no injuries. Yeah, the injuries don't happen to the crappy players. They're saving them for the good players here. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, Dana Terrell has just been injured with a wrist sprain. His estimated return is October 20th. He's going to miss three weeks. All right. Uh, replace his player. All right, so we're still in the uh, minors or the uh, preseason. Perfect. So now let's do the, uh, the real lines for our whole team. Uh, roster moves. All right, so let's bring everyone up that we need to. Goalies. Bring up Bernier. Send down. Garon's going to be our backup. Yeah, Bernier and Garon, all right? Defenseman now. Uh, might as well just send. Oh, Skidari. Let me just quickly do this, boys. I know what I'm doing here. Yep, yep, yep. Hedman, Brewer, Oland. Yeah. Send down Landry, Pichet. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there's our six defenseman. All right, right wingers. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to have to bring up uh, St. Louis, obviously. Connolly, they're going to play in the minors. He could come up for us, but get him some time, actually. He could be on our second line left wing. Get him some experience. Or should I give him uh, time in the minors? You know, I'll bring him up just for now, just to see what happens with the Lions when we make the Lions. Because injuries, I mean, he's going to have time. Might as well just, uh, if we're going to use him, might as well just use him, right? Uh, Pallet. Hutchings, all right, who else? Could we... Malone, Hutchings, and then the center. See, Terrell is injured now, for God's sakes. Le Cavalier, uh, Senkoff, you send back down to the juniors. Kalinski, back down to the juniors. Labrie, back down to the juniors. Okay, so that's our whole team switched back around. Gervais is a defenseman. We don't need any more defensemen. It was the right winger. Siegel, Grinder. Yeah, we could bring up Siegel as well, Grinder. All right. So, let's go to our lines now. Let's do our lines. I want to start the, uh... Oh, my God. Excuse me. I want to start the uh, simulation in this uh, video. So, the best lines here. So, I want to give Stamkos, Stamkos, Hedman, and Bernier, we want to get them as much experience as we can. So, again, I don't think we're going to be a playoff team this year. We didn't make our trade for our above-average goalie and our above-average left winger. It would have been too much to trade away. We didn't have any prospects to trade away. So instead, we just got our uh, average goalie for now, but hopefully he's going to turn out to be something special, and we can continue to build our forwards and our defensemen. All right? So we've got our best lines out here. Malone, Stamkos, St. Louis is going to be our first line. I want Stamkos to get as many points as he can, playing alongside a playmaker and a power forward. It'd be good. I was thinking of bringing up Le Cavalier with him, but I think Malone will be good uh, as his left wing there. <coughs> so we'll leave Malone there. Second line, Le Cavalier, Purcell, and this is what I'm thinking. Should we just bring up Connolly just to give him, because he's going to be getting good minutes on the second line, and he's 77 overall. We could just get him some points with Le Cavalier right there and Purcell. Won't be too much, but we don't have any other good players anyways, right? Thompson, Payette, Hall, Shannon, Wallace, Labrie. Uh, and then we got Siegel on the bench. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not even going to do these lines down here. It doesn't really matter at all. doesn't matter at all. We'll move up uh, Adam Hall, so we'll have the 379s, I guess. All right? <clears throat> yeah, but I think we'll bring up Connolly. I'm sure we'll have to deal with some injuries, so he might get moved up to the first line. But, yeah, we'll bring up Brett Connolly. Is his name, first name Brett? Yes, Brett Connolly. All right, so we're going to bring up Brett Connolly. <clears throat> Defenseman, Hedman and Brewer. Uh, I think I'm going to put Bergeron on the first line because I want an offensive defenseman to help Stamkos out. Brewer, yeah, no, he's not the greatest uh, defensively. Uh, sorry, offensively. What was Bergeron offensively, though? I wasn't too much better. You know what? Bergeron's not that good. I'll put Brewer and Hedman up there. Scuderi and Olin, Bergeron and Commodore. Yeah, you know what? Our defensive lines are fine. I'm going to be doing best lines a lot anyways. Power play, Stamkos, St. Louis, Malone, yep. Le Cavalier, Purcell, and Connolly. There you go. Bergeron and Hedman. Fine, that's fine with me. Uh, Brewer and Oland, okay. Four-man power play, Stamco, St. Louis. Bergeron, Hedman, Le Cavalier, Malone. Yeah, we'll leave Malone there. Brewer and Oland, yeah, okay. Penalty kill. Now I want to put Stamkos on the penalty kill. I want to get him as many goals as I can. Um, and he's pretty good defensively. It's not bad. So, yeah, we'll give Stamkos the first line power play alongside Vincent Le Cavalier. That's fine by me. Give them as much. Uh, actually, you know what? Instead of Vinny, let's put a Malone. Nice little power forward beside him. Malone. And then your second line right wing penalty kill. 
can be, uh, yeah, we'll give it to, no, we'll just give it to Labrie. He's a grinder. They have him there. Yeah, we'll give it to Labrie. Why not? Commodore, Oland. No, let's bring up Brewer and Hedman. Give them experience. Yeah. And same thing with the three men. Penalty kill, Brewer and Hedman. And Stamkos and St. Louis. Or Le Cavalier. Stamkos, yes. Uh, shootout, Stamkos, St. Louis, Le Cavalier, Purcell, Shannon. Fine. Extra attackers, Stamkos uh, and Le Cavalier. Yep. Bernier's in the nets. Very nice. Norfolk. Best lines for our AHL team. We don't have any young guns we want to have on the uh, first line anyways. Uh, our defensemen, Lee, Ollie can be on, Lee and Ollie are going to be our two young gun defensemen. Lee and Ollie, Lee and Ollie, let me just make sure they're all on the first lines everywhere. Lee and Ollie, Lee and Ollie, yeah, alright, we're good. 